All right, guys, so I wanted to uh, talk to you today about a game that I've been experiencing. But let me, let me uh, preface this by saying, not only am I a gamer, but I, I love um, Japanese anime. Um, you know, and some of my favorites, uh, some of my favorite animes include, you know, Ghost in the Shell, Ninja Scroll, uh, Akira, even though I can never tell what the hell's really going on in that movie. Um, but, um, I'm also very familiar with the Shonen Jump stuff. Um, I, I liked some of, uh, some of Naruto, even though I still say ninjas don't wear orange. Um, some of Naruto, I'm familiar with, um, Fist of the North Star a little bit. Still want to get into some more of that, because that's just really cool. Um, started watching One Punch Man and its ridiculous, um, glory. Um, and I also love, um, I love Rurouni Kenshin and Dragon Ball Z. Um, so naturally when Jump Force was announced, um, I was ecstatic because it looked awesome. Um, and parts of it are awesome, but we'll get to that. Um, but I, I think I'm sort of disappointed. Because when you start out the game, you start out, you start out creating your own avatar. And then you're thrust into the game into an overworld similar to uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse if you have ever had any experience with that um, it's much more of an MMO, MMO sort of thing um, but when you do get into fights it plays like a uh, three on three uh, fighter but my issue with that is all three characters share one life bar um, and I just don't understand that um, but a lot of the problems that I have with the game are the same problems that I had with the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild I know, cue the people that are going to call me blasphemous for not, uh, loving all up on, uh, Breath of the Wild here, but there is really no, uh, GPS system on where to go next, so you just have to, to wander around aimlessly until you find the next thing to do uh, in the story and as far as I can tell that there's no arcade mode it's a three-on-three -three fighting game with no arcade mode and the fighting by the way is executed flawlessly but the things you have to do to get there are atrocious you have to wander around aimlessly. I feel like I'm playing Shenmue again. Um, there, have, I've played many anime fighting games over the years, like Guilty Gear. Um, I have no experience with Blaze Blue or anything like that. I I want to though. Um, but I'm very experienced in Dragon Ball Fighters. I love that game. That game executes everything flawlessly, top to bottom, in my opinion. Um, and this game, 
the fighting is great, but it's it's a chore to get there. You can't skip, you cannot skip cutscenes, um, and the whole one life bar thing just it bugs me. It really, really does. Um, Bandai Namco, in my opinion, have been really hit or miss lately with their fighting games. I like Tekken 7. I dislike its short arcade arcade experience. Soul Calibur 6 is the same way. I like their arcade mode. But there's no definitive ending for the character that you finish the game with. Um, so that just dampens the whole experience for me. Um, if anyone, if anyone watching this video has ever, um, played, has played Jump Force yet, leave your comments in the comment section below. Um, have you played Dragon Ball Fighters or Blaze Blue? Um, anything like that? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm really interested in what you have to say. Um, finally, ending this video, uh... The Resident Evil 2 interview will be happy, happening sometime next week, either Wednesday or Thursday. If it happens on Wednesday, it'll be up on Thursday. If it happens on Thursday, it'll be up either Thursday night or Friday morning. So be sure to keep your eyes peeled for that. Alright guys, like, comment, slam that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.